my November favorites. I'm really excited to show you guys what I found. I am really um, excited also to show you guys my fashion favorites, which is something I'm adding to this video because I feel like beauty isn't just enough. So sorry if you can hear noises, someone's mowing the lawn outside. So my first product I want to show you guys is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage um, Concealer Palette. Now this is a great concealer because it's very, very um, dry, so it does work really well. Like It's dry at first, once you move it around with your, the warmth of your fingers, it tends to get more malleable and you can use it evenly around your skin. I also really enjoy, enjoy that it has two colors that you can mix and match your own shade, which I think is really important when you're trying to conceal something to match your foundation. So it works really well. Rather than just buying one concealer, you're like buying two. And also get a good amount. I've actually been preferring it over my MAC Studio Finish Concealer because it just works really well and it does cover really well and it doesn't seem to move throughout the day which I think is really great. So I have the shade SC3 which is a great color for people who are like my skin tone which tends, which is more like mid-tone, um, medium. As you can see I'm quite yellow. Moving on is something I just picked up which is the Lorac um, Highlighter and Matte Duo Bronzer. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very, very matte bronzer, which I think is really great, especially if you're using it for contouring, which is what I'm using it for. And it also has a really great shimmer to it, which I think is awesome as well, because it's great for the highlight, which is what I use it for. So um, I really like this. It's quite large. The only thing I don't like about it, because it's like kind of too big to carry around with you, um, and it's just kind of annoyingly big. So. Uh, other than that, it's a great shade and I really like it. Next is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo. Now this stuff has been like getting a big name out for itself um, recently here on YouTube um, because the first I heard about it was Elisa Eldritz talked about it and I really adore her. She, has, she does great videos um, and I picked it up as soon as she said that it was great for acne. Um, and then I also saw that, after I picked it up, I also saw that um, a model recommends talked about it and then also Tanya Bird talked about it so now it's like this huge thing and everybody's like dying over it but it's well worth it because it is a great product for acne I really really appreciate it I'm, I really like it um, for using underneath your makeup throughout like for the daily treatment it works really for like a daily treatment it works really well with that and um, it really does help reduce the amount of acne and also reduce um, the cause of them like how often it also helps reduce the amount of them and over time will prevent them. So I really, really like this. It dries them out really quickly and it doesn't leave your skin feeling really flaky, which is something I really like about it. And you can find this at the, some CVS's Carry It and also online at La Roche Posay if you're having trouble. Next is this NYX uh, blush in peach, which is a great color. It is super pretty and works really well on everyday makeup. Um, I really like the color because it's really Similar to what I would assume my blush would look like if I blushed naturally um, because It just works really well with pretty much any look. I'm wearing it today And I feel like it just looks really great on your skin um, and very natural, which is what I appreciate So I wear it very often. Next is this creamless creaseless eyeshadow from Benefit, which is in birthday suit um, I wear this almost every day. It's a very naked. It's a very natural looking shade um, You can wear it underneath eyeshadow, which is what I tend to do because it gives a great shimmer to almost any eyeshadow you apply on top of it um, And it does not crease so Yeah, I really like that um, and I feel like the, it's a really great color if you wear it alone if you wear it alone or if you wear it with something, which is what I do. So I really, really like this color. It's super Last pretty. two products for beauty are NYX also, um, dark brown liner. Now this is something I really, really, really have been enjoying. I really like it because it's really great for um, under eye lining, which is what I use it for. I don't like to use black and liner underneath my eyes too often, especially during the day. because I feel like it's too harsh, um, especially if you're doing like a, a soft, smoky eye. I think it's a little bit too much um, to wear every day so um, I like to use this instead of using black and I think it works perfectly I'm also wearing it today so I think it just gives a really nice compliment to the under eye area and lastly for beauty products this is my holy grail mascara this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara in Waterproof. Now I specify that waterproof is my favorite because I never use the one without waterproof because I feel like if I didn't use it, my lashes wouldn't stay that long because when you use a waterproof mascara, it has a lot more waxes in it than, it, than a regular non-waterproof mascara and I think that helps the lashes stay curled a lot better. So I always use a waterproof formula and I also urge y'all if you have any, if, if any of you all have like really small lashes to try this out because it does wonders. I mean I have really small lashes, I mean like incredibly small and it, it works wonders on me and it, it really does 
voluminize them. So really, really love this mascara. All right, so for fashion faves, I have scarves and boots. It's kind of typical to favorite those for November, but um, the fall we're having here in Texas is not the fall you would normally have anywhere else because honestly, in the morning it's about 60, 50 degrees, and then around 4 o'clock it turns to 85. So it's very hot and cold every day here in Texas, so you have to you have to be prepared for something like that. So I always try to layer and then slowly take off those layers throughout the day. So like today I'm wearing like a tank shirt but with a nice wooly like cardigan. So I can take this off later on or I can add a scarf in the morning because I have very long days. So I'm up in the morning and I'm out late. So it's really great to layer here in Texas. So hence why I love scarves. Now this one is one I just picked up. This is from Cynthia Rowley. It's really pretty like orchid has a really beautiful design on it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and like I said, it's from Cynthia Rowley and I love this scarf. It works really well. It's quite long so you can layer it like you can do this where you do this part just to warm up the neck area or you could do it all around your, your neck. Um, there's so many ways to wear a scarf and I think Michelle Fawn just did one so um, yeah, love this scarf. So. Super pretty, and I got it at Cindy Rally. Next is this one from Ann Taylor, um, which is really pretty as well. It's the traditional leopard print. But what I really like about this is it has hints of burgundy in it, like little swirls of burgundy in it, which is really pretty. So I wear this a lot too. And so those are my two favorite scarves at the moment. I have a lot more, but I'm gonna show you only two. Uh, my next two fashion favorites are boots. Now, a specific style of boots, and I'm talking about like riding boots, more of like the long up knee high boots um, that you wear with like skinny jeans or skirts or, or dresses. I think they're really versatile to wear, especially around this time of year because they keep your feet really warm and they look really So I have two styles to show you. The first one is one of my favorites and I've had these for a year and honestly I totally, totally recommend investing in a pair of leather boots and I, spec I specify on leather because leather lasts a, gr a great amount of time, especially if you take care of them like I do. So um, these are by Vince Camuto. They're really, really gorgeous boots. They're black, uh, black brown, um, and they're really, really pretty. They have a great, pretty detail in the back, this little crisscross thing, and in the um, heel, it has this little Vince Camuto thing. So they're really gorgeous. I love them, and I love the color because you can wear them with black or brown, and they just suit really well. Um, I've had these for a year, and I really take care of my shoes. I polish them. I clean them, I use other conditioner, and I take care of them because especially with shoes like this, they can last years if you take care of them. So definitely, definitely love these. I wear them a lot. The second pair is actually one I just picked up, and these are from Lucky Brand. Um, also leather, really nice and sturdy. These are more like rugged looking than the other ones. The other ones are more like um, formal looking. You can wear those, like dress them up a little bit more. But these are definitely more casual. See, they have like this little stitching detail on the, they have this little stitching detail on the front part um, and it kind of reminds me of more of us like westerny kind of thing but I live in Texas so we can wear western clothes <laughs> but um, you can definitely dress them up and make them look less westerny and make them look a little bit more fun and, and chic but I really like these I love the color because they're really close to my skin tone so I can wear them with, with just shorts and no leggings or with skirt and leggings and they just look like really natural and they don't look crazy so um, I really like these once again they're from Lucky Bren and I Love them. So that is it for my no so that is it for my November faves. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys like the ending with the fashion faves. That's something I'm gonna try to incorporate more often in my videos because I think it's a lot more fun and I love clothing so it's definitely gonna be more fun for me. So um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that and had a great time watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're not and on Twitter. I do post a lot on, on Instagram and I do have a lot of conversation on Instagram. So if you ever want to ask me something Leave a comment on my Instagram photo and I'm more likely will respond to you on there rather than on here. It's hard for me to keep up with the comments on this because um, I don't check it as often, but I'm always on Instagram. So definitely hit me up on there and I will be more glad to talk to you guys. So see you soon. Bye.